Today, we will answer a math Olympiad question. And here it is. Given a plus b plus c equals 1 and a cubed plus b cubed plus c cubed equals 4, then the goal is to evaluate this expression 1 over a plus b times c plus 1 over b plus a times c plus 1 over c plus a times b. Pause this video right now and see if you can answer this question because I will show you the solution in 3, 2, 1. So given these two equations, the goal is to evaluate this expression containing a, b, and c. Now, given this kind of scenario, first thing we need to do is to simplify first this expression that we want to evaluate. So let's get this. And now, let's see. Using the first equation, it says that a plus b plus c equals 1. So we can get the value of a, b, and c. For example, if you want to solve for the value of a, let's subtract b and c on both sides. So we have a equals 1 minus b minus c. So we can replace this a with 1 minus b minus c, like this. Also, we can do the same thing for this b and c because b, using the first equation, b is simply equal to 1 minus a minus c and c equals 1 minus a minus b. So we can replace this b respectively and this c as well. Now let's get 1 minus b minus c plus bc because I think we can factor this out nicely because we can factor out negative c right over here. And take note, we have here 1 minus b and 1 minus b. We have a common factor of 1 minus b. We can factor this out. So we have 1 minus c multiplied by 1 minus b. This is the factored form of this denominator. Also, we can do the same thing to the second denominator and to the third. So the second denominator, we can factor this out nicely using the same method as 1 minus a multiplied by 1 minus c. And the third denominator, we can factor this out nicely as 1 minus a multiplied by 1 minus b. So those are our new denominator of our fractions, like this. Now let's focus on this result. Now, what we're going to do is to combine these three. And to do that, the first fraction, let's multiply this by 1 minus a. The second fraction by 1 minus b. The third fraction by 1 minus c. So all of the denominators are the same, so we can now combine them. And if we combine them, we have something like 1 plus 1 plus 1 or 3 minus a minus b minus c. Therefore, this expression is technically our expression that we want to evaluate. Alright, so what we're going to do here, notice if we factor out negative 1 to negative a minus b minus c, we have a plus b plus c. And we know the value of a plus b plus c, this is given, this is just 1. So let's focus on this result and let's replace this as 1 because if it's given that a plus b plus c is 1. So 3 minus 1 simply equal to 2. Now, this is technically the expression that we want to evaluate. And from here, what we're going to do is to multiply this denominator. And using some algebra, we can say that this is equivalent to 1 minus a minus b minus c plus ab plus ac plus bc minus abc. And focusing on this 3, again, we can factor out negative 1. And this is now our new denominator. And from here, we know a plus b plus c. This is already given. This is just 1. So we can replace this with 1. And 1 minus 1 simply equal to 0. Whew. Now, the goal is to find the value of AB plus AC plus BC minus ABC. And take note, we use the first equation a lot. And the second given equation, let's use this. Because we will apply this identity to get the value of this denominator. And here's our identity. A cubed plus B cubed plus C cubed minus 3ABC. We can factor this out nicely as a plus b plus c raised to the power of 3 minus 3 times a plus b plus c multiplied by ab plus ac plus bc. Take note, we have here ab plus ac plus bc. This is our denominator and abc. Alright, now we know 
A plus B plus C, those are equivalent to just 1. And now here comes the second equation comes into play because A cubed plus B cubed plus C cubed, we know this is just 4. So we can replace this with 4. Now let's simplify. 1 cubed simply equal to 1 and 3 times 1 simply equal to 3. And now subtract 1 on both sides. And then divide all of this term by 3. We get 1 minus ABC equals negative AB plus AC plus BC. Now rearrange some terms a little bit. And we get that the numerical value of AB plus AC plus BC minus ABC is technically negative 1. So our denominator is just negative 1. And 2 over negative 1 simply equal to negative 2. And there you have it. This is the value of our expression that we want to evaluate. Therefore, given A plus B plus C equals 1, a cubed plus B cubed plus C cubed equals 4, then the numerical value of 1 over A plus BC plus 1 over B plus AC plus 1 over C plus AB simply equal to negative 2. And this is our answer to this question. And as always, we are done.